Most people are blaming Shonen Jump for the ending of Bleach. We could have the Shonen Jump purge that had been going on would have been getting a little... They've been getting rid of a lot of their older theories, getting rid of those, and replacing them with newer ones. Bleach with Red Sprite, and Nitakoi will replace with a uh, Promise of the Neverland, or something like that. The point is, and a lot of people are blaming Shonen Jump for Bleach's ending. While Bleach's rushed ending is mostly Jump's fault, you can't entirely blame them for it. You really can't. Kubo is at fault too. The final arc of this series started at chapter 480 and ended on chapter 686. Think about that for a minute. How long is that? That's a long, that's a long, long ass arc. That's a long ass arc. That's what? Yeah, that's over like, that's over 200 chapters. Yeah, that's over 200 freaking chapters. I mean, my god, what the hell, Kubo? And there are times, I think it was when Kenpachi released Shikai and Grammy brought down the meteor. At the end of one chapter, Grammy bring that bring down the meteor, and we think Kenpachi be like, Roar, Yodorasi, or some shit like that. And then, the whole next chapter is just people reacting to the meteor, and Kenpachi uh, uh, releasing Yodorasi at the end of the chapter. So I'm sitting there like, why did Kenpachi not just do that at page one? Why did we have to wait to get to the... We, so we had a cliffhanger, and we had a chapter building up to the cliffhanger from the last chapter. And it, and it doesn't work. That doesn't work. I'm sorry about that. It doesn't work. It bothered me, and it bothered you. It bothers everyone, right? But it doesn't work. It's annoying in context of the series. It annoyed the fandom, but it also dragged out the arc. The Thousand Year Blood War arc was dragged out. There were things that were dragged out. Kubo started off like the Toshiro zombie thing. That was never. That wasn't really too necessary. Instead of just getting straight to the point, Kubo had all these other things going on. And that was where Kubo failed in the context of this arc. Now where he failed. He could... It just, you have to realize, Kubo had to have moved along faster. Progressed the story faster. I guarantee you, there would not have had to been such a rough ending if he had been closer to it. He, if he had been like 15 chapters away, Jump probably would have been like, fine. I would say if Kubo in a perfect world were probably another, when probably like 50 or 60 chapters away, he probably wanted to go into like January, February, mid, mid 2017. That was my thought process the whole time. Then we needed to get the flat back on Yuha. We needed to get the, all the bond, all the bonkai. So many things needed to happen. Kubo did not have time to do all that. He would have needed to go into 2017. And I think he said to Yum, I, w- I need to go into like 2017. And Yum turned around and said, No, we're sorry. You've been doing this art for like six years now. You've been ending this series for six years and it isn't like Naruto. It's not doing well. Bleach was not doing as well as Naruto. Naruto was doing very well. It was on the number two play on the ranking on a weekly basis. Naruto did very well. Naruto was always doing well. It didn't fall behind and start doing less well. It didn't stop doing as well as it used to. It kept it was consistently the second or third best selling manga for a good majority of the run. And during its final arc, Shonen Jump wasn't going to rush Kishimoto to finish something of making them money. Bleak wasn't making them enough money if they wanted it to. So when Kubo was like, I need a couple more months, they were like, you know what, dude? No, we're not giving you a couple more months. And you started the arc like five, six years ago and it's still not over. That's their own problem, Keith. That's their own problem, Kubo. So I really feel, I'm going to be ending up Bleak. We need to stop blaming Jump. And we need to blame everybody. And you're gonna, I don't think we can blame anybody, but you're going to blame someone. Blame Jump and blame Kubo. Both parties are at fault. And Kubo has finished his arc earlier. If he hadn't goofed off as much, and he had finished the arc earlier, we would be fine. We wouldn't be in a situation. But we're in a situation now. We, we, he wasted a lot of his time on stuff that wasn't very important. 
let's be honest, there's a lot of stuff in this arc that could be taken out. A lot of padding, a lot of chapters, or a lot of the big black and white pages that were just like dedicated to Ichigo doing one attack. That's a waste of a page, that's a waste of storytelling time. You see my point here? We could have gotten a better ending, but we didn't. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Did you guys still blame Just Jump? Or did you guys agree with me that Kuro's at fault too? Tell me your thoughts in the comments section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. Visit One Big Nation. Signing out. Peace.